Monday. Back out here in this hardwood. Pretty much uh, wiped this whole area out today. Only ran four tanks. It's about 115, but probably end up having to spend the rest of the day here piling. I gotta leave about 2:30 or so. 245 but show you here what I got started back here opening up this area Chuck's here getting my wood right now. He's picking up the hardwood. He already took a load of pine this morning. Now he's working on a load of hardwood. See him right there. Hopefully he don't get stuck. He had some issues earlier trying to leave. Sit here and watch for a minute. Make sure he can get out of here. Otherwise, I don't know, I'll probably go take my truck over there and give him a pull. Yeah, he's weevil wobbling her back and forth. Spinning. Everything's just pure ice. It's not like we got a lot of snow, but we got enough for there to be problems. Well, he can back up. Hopefully he gets a good pack trail there, get some bite on the ice. I think he's got her. There he goes. Looks like he's got every bunk full. Had just enough on the pile then. So anyways, cut this cherry in here. I got a Popple I got hung up in there. I just cut a stick out of it. I'll pull that down to the skitter and a bunch of cherry. Work my way up here on the other side. Got a bunch laying in here. Got some that f aren't fully cut off because the pond's so close. Kind of fell into that side. I'll take and skid all the sticks here and drag everything else back over. Cut the rest of the sticks out of them. You see here how they're just laying in there. There's a couple sticks in some of these. Like this one here. There's two sticks in that yet. It's slow going with this stuff, I'll tell you that. They're leaning all over the place. I don't know if you can see here how they are, but every single one of them you gotta 
decide which one to take before you can take the other. We got wood all over the place in here. Kind of buried some of it, brush. But got sticks cut all over the place. And I was over here, I cut up the tree that uh, the other guy got hurt on. So I finally made it this far as this cherry here. He had it hung up in this pine. And he cut the one stick out of it right here. And it buckled and kicked back and I threw him back in here. I got all that cut up. I'll get that piled. This big white pine here. I don't know if I'll take that down or not. It's got that big ulcer right there. I have to whack all this stuff down first. So you can see it's thick in here. It was just as thick throughout this whole area as it is in there. It's just horrible trying to move around. And I got this guy here hung up. It's cut off the stump, but I'll knock him down to the skitter. And this was the biggest birch of the day. It was a good size one there. About 18 inches on that small side. And I got a little bit more wood up in here, a few sticks here and there. Get piled. Yeah, I know I'm walking underneath it, but it ain't going nowhere. So anyways, Found another, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, Widowmaker. The other guy left. See these tops here? It's down in the ground. That one's up there yet. He's got this one here cut. It's cut all the way through, but it's still standing there yet because this top. Is hung up in this white pine. So what I'll end up doing is I'll take cut this one off since nothing's holding anything here. Cut that guy off. And then we got this guy here. I'll cut him through so far. And I'll try and push them over with the skitter if it don't go on its own. And that'll still leave this one here that he's got to cut. It's still standing yet. Nothing should interfere with that if I take these two out. I just don't know when it falls, when that one falls, how that top's hung up in that branch. That one's going to slide down, and that top's going to come right back at me. It's hanging there, so I'll probably end up just cutting it so far through and push it over with the skitter. Something. And then this one here that he's got cut through, I'll probably end up, since it's such a hazard up there, I'll probably end up taking and I'll cut it just a little bit more and I'll put a chain on the bottom of that and just try and pull it down with a skitter or something. I could take my throw ball and my rope, get it up in that crotch up there and get the rope come along and pull it over from there real nice and slow. It's an option I guess. That way I'm far away stuff decides to fall Come on. should be okay otherwise I still got plenty of room here this is all open 
I got plenty of room here to run if we need to. Nothing's gonna barber chair. If anything, that top there is just gonna hold that up like a crutch and nothing's gonna go anywhere anyways. The only one that will come down easily is this one on the left. Got some branches up there cracking. Set one in. So, I'm going to go start piling, everybody. Have a good one. It's the end of Monday here. Just checking to see what uh, I got left here from wood after the trucks came twice today. In my pine pulp, there's no, no three cord there yet. And the hardwood, there's over a cord of hardwood yet, and then that's my popple pile. Not much there. That's all I got left. I'm gonna have to get some production done. It's uh. The road here is going to get pretty bad the next couple days if it melts off at all. It's going to be a big soup hole. Hopefully it could freeze up. I don't know if it's going to. But I'm heading out of here and on my way to work. So Y'all have a good day. Be safe.